All righty, time for our live chat. And I have to say, this is my favorite story of the day. Have you seen this sonogram image? I don't know if you caught the story, but if you're just joining us, new parents, Alicia and Zach, were shocked when they saw the image of Jesus watching over their unborn baby, Brielle. Do you see him? Take a look at your screen right now. Do you see him? Let us know in the comments and we'll read your thoughts in the comment roundup later in the show. Uh, but first, we're so excited to have these new parents with us today to talk about their really spiritual experience. Alicia and Zach, welcome to Top 30. Hello, hi, there you go. Uh, well, Zach, I know it's just you for now because Alicia stepped away, but she'll be right back, right? Yep, she actually just walked in the room now. Alicia, welcome to the show. Hello. Well, congrats you two on the birth of your beautiful baby girl. She was born uh, the day before yesterday, Tuesday, right? Yes. Okay. Now, Alicia and Zach, I've got to tell you, I've been in this business a long time. Over the years, I've done stories about people seeing religious figures in trees, watermelons. I remember doing a story about seeing a, a, the Virgin Mary in a block of cheese. Uh, but your story is a first for me. Can you describe what you saw what, the moment you looked at your daughter's sonogram? Uh -huh. A blessing. <laughs> mm. um, I don't know. It was just a, a sign of relief, honestly. And you say that because of your incredible backstory. Now, Zach, I think everyone would agree that this is a pretty cool story, but what people don't know uh, is that the moments leading up to seeing that sonogram were pretty scary for the both of you. Tell us about that. What was happening? Um, going through my mind, uh, I was freaking out just knowing that uh, her second child uh, nearly took her life. Uh, just knowing going into this, uh, I could be faced with a big decision of choosing my daughter or my wife, and that's a hard decision for anybody. But um, seeing the sonogram, I uh, just knew it put my mind at ease. It put Alicia's mind at ease. And uh, knowing that someone was there, just letting us know, hey, you know, everything is all right. I'm here with your daughter. I'm here with you all. I'm watching over all of you. You have nothing to worry about. I'm going to make sure this is a, an amazing experience for both of you. Wow. And, you know, just to dig a little bit deeper, you said you're, there were complications with the, the first to pregnancies, right? And so you had a little bit of anxiety leading into this third one. Was there any type of emergency? Were you ex especially worried about this third one? No, there was no emergency. Just the complications with my daughter and then my son, like the issues, it seemed to me like each child I had, the more issues that they had. So when I found out I was pregnant again, I kind of freaked out. And I had high blood pressure, and she was measuring big, so they sent us up to the labor and delivery and for ultrasound, and that's whenever we seen it. Yeah, and Alicia, how did uh, seeing that image make you feel? I want to put the sonogram back on the screen for you guys. When you saw this, I mean, I'm looking at it. I clearly see what appears to be the image of Jesus right there. How did that make you feel when you saw this, Alicia? Uh, put me at peace. Yeah. Yeah, well, as, as a mother myself, I can imagine the peace was overwhelming. Would you say you two are religious people, or were you leading up to this? No, I mean, we, we believe in a higher power. We believe there's a higher order of things. Um, we, we're not going to say that we're religious fanatics, that we go to church every Sunday. We, you know, we pray, and we, we definitely prayed through this, uh, just hoping for the best. But, um, I mean, we're not overly religious about everything, but we definitely do believe in a higher order. And, you know, we, you know, we believe in, you know, Jesus and God or well, however you want to propose it. I just know there is, a, you know, a higher order than, than just us on life. There, you know, somebody gave us all life. Somebody created all of this. So, you know, that's what we believe in, you know, all of that order. Mm -hmm. And obviously your story has uh, got quite a bit of attention. How are you explaining what happened to people? It's hard to explain. I mean, it's just everything happened all at once. And then, uh, you know, it just started out just small. We just started out by just putting the, the pictures on Facebook, just asking, you know, what people see. And then one thing led to another. And Fox 43, uh, thank you, Allie Bradley, uh, she got the story. And uh, after that, it's just kind of took and off. And uh, she's just our miracle, our little blessing, because uh, we just know leading up to this, it's been a struggle. And, you know, uh, we're just proud to have her. But we totally didn't expect all this, and we didn't plan for it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you? 
how do you plan for something like this, right? Right. Well, it started with a Facebook post, and my my friend Carissa kind of sent it to somebody, and everybody was just all over it. And yeah. Well, I can tell you one thing, regardless of what you believe, your story and what you went through and the experience is definitely inspiring. So we appreciate you sharing your story with us here on Top 30. Not a problem at all. Yeah, it's definitely inspirational to us as well. And we're, yeah. we're glad that, you know, our little our little girl can inspire many others. And uh, we just hope that, you know, everybody else's birth um, going forward is, you know, as perfect as ours. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Before I let you go, how are all of your kids doing now? Is everybody happy they're and great. healthy? Yeah. Yeah, they're all excited for her to come home. Oh, my goodness. So incredible. Well, thank you, guys, Alicia and Zach. We appreciate your time. Now go have fun with your kiddos. I know it's going to be quite the all adventure right, thank ahead. You. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. for all of you at home, how awesome is that story? Please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below and uh, take a look at that sonogram. If we could put it up one more time, I want you to tell me, do you see the image? Do you see what Zach and Alicia say is the image of Jesus watching over their baby girl? Let us know what you think in the comment section and we will get to them during our next roundup. For now though, we're gonna take a dive back into top stories.